and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Minecraft Story Mode. So we are going for the new episode today, A Portal to Mystery, episode 6. So let's just get right to it. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Okay. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Okay guys, I'm seeing grass, forests, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Ahem. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Oh, come on. Can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome! I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Okay, so maybe they did. But they can handle themselves no problem. I They'll hope. find the next portal just like we did, and hopefully, we'll all be back together again soon. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. What is that book? It says invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. Ahem. <clears throat> Greetings, Traveler! Yep, that seems about right. Yeah. Keep reading, Jesse. I've got your back. You better. I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's... odd. Yeah, weird, right? Wah! Ha! Toss it here! Ha! Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Ha! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Ha! Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. Yeah, we better go. I must say. This is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. Yeah, you think this mean. host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Hey, the invitation was classy, though. Boy, I hope so. Wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. What? Go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. You pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? 
because they're both awful. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first. All right, go, 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 go. More zombies. Tell us again. Moja. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! Baby, yeah! Damn it! Ha! Ha! Bye bye. Ha! Sure. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall. Alright, the cavalry is there! Nice! Nice! I fucking rock! That's maneuver 66. Are you kidding me? They made us. Okay, whatever works. Whoa! Nailed it! Nailed it. Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Thanks, <laughs> maybe. Get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? Front door's definitely a no-go. <gasps> Stick with me, guys! Let's just kick them off. discussions for inside, okay? <gasps> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There! We 
should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees! We can cut those down! Good plan! And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like there's some kind of kitchen in there! Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. He will? Really? Wow, some kitchen. Oh, dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. And this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Mm. Jesse, are you going to take this one, or shall I? We're not the hosts of whatever this is. Sorry. We're just in here to hide from the freaking sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. You should have noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles. Captain Sparkles? I've got like nine million fans. Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect. The man's a captain. It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse. And that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. Psst, Jesse? That's a boy's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <coughs> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. <laughs> that's a good one. You you are very funny, Talk Dog. I, uh, uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some six snackage, and bounce, you know, but uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Yeah. <laughs> Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, oh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. Good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah. Oh, no. Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Who touched my foot? Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. But what's up with the lights? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. What the fuck? You've got a, a boy's name. Tork Dog? Tork Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. Oh, man. Just when I thought we were starting to get along. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Uh, who would do this? There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. 
But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Could be. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? And? Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. You hey, say you it. know about these tipped arrows. Anything else you know that you're not telling us? Well, Probably. You're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Are you I sure? I sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. What? Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. What? Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> what? Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa. That's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not... Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Lol. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. Yeah. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Yeah. Aw, kitty cat. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. 
So I'm looking at this situation, and I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. You sure? Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> you sure? Inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here. Especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's get investigating then. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end this episode here not to make it too long. So until the next part of this episode, um, I guess I'll see you later. Bye bye!